Hey folks, um, this is my first video in a long time. Uh, James Lobin made me do this. I think his channel is the same name, James Lobin. Um, and he was talking about Grails in his last video. He picked 10 records that are rare, um, that he was looking for a long time <clears throat> until he found them. Uh, I will show one that he also had in his collection, but I think the other ones are uh, new, or different, let's say. <clears throat> so he said, uh, pick one, pick three, pick five, but uh, at most pick ten. Uh, I picked eleven, so I cheated. Uh, the eleventh is playing in the background, and that would be Midlick. The Trial of Van Occupanther, um, it's, it's one of my um, yeah, favorite albums of all time. Um, I was looking um, for this copy a long time. This is an original copy. Um, last year they repressed it on their own label, or it's run by one of the Midlake guys, I, I guess. Um, but I'm pretty happy to have an original copy of this wonderful, wonderful album. So, <clears throat> he also ask the question, what is a grail? Uh, the word is used a lot, uh, I use it a lot too. Um, I think I wouldn't use it too much now. I think it's just a good word for records that you really want to have. Most of those records um, are hard to find. Um, also, the records, the records that I'm showing today are indeed I think they're all kind of hard to find, um, but we'll see. Also, um, all of these records are among my favorite all, of all time. I think that's what James also said, is that uh, the records that you're seeking most after, or, yeah, um, are, are your favorite records at the same time. Kings of Convenience, uh, Right on an Empty Street. It's a wonderful duo um, from Norway. Bagen is the city. And this is their second album from 2004. Uh, very hard to get on vinyl. Um, when you find it, it's mostly very expensive. Um, I was able to grab the first two of them for a reasonable price. Um, and this is just a fantastic record. It's Kings of Convenience make music. This is just, which is just perfect. Okay, it's just perfect uh, music. Mm, the next one is a record that uh, a lot of people are hoping for a repress. Um, I did not understand why they didn't do a repress last year because it was the record's 20th anniversary, and I'm talking about live through this by whole. I was looking for this record for a long, long time. Um, I found it last year um, at a guy's house. He was selling his uh, private collection and there was one day um, where I found so many 90s gems uh, in one hall um, like 10 records or so. I, I just couldn't believe it for an unbelievable price. Um, so these things are going for 150 euro plus in Europe. Uh, if, you're, if you want uh, a copy like this, and this is absolutely mint. Um, it's like an unplayed copy right from the store. So um, I did not listen to it yet because I want to save it for a very special moment. I'm moving to a new record room in the next couple of weeks, so I think this would be the first record that I'm uh, putting on. I'm very excited about this find. Uh, the next one is a band that I really adore. Um, I have the yeah, like the complete catalog. Close. Some are missing, but. I'm talking about Yola Tango, one of my favorite bands. Um, this is one of my favorite records by them. 
it used to be my favorite for a long time, but then they released Summer Sun. Um, I just love love the band's catalog so much. But this record is outstanding. Um, it is kind of rare. This is the RTI repress, um, which is kind of rare too now. Uh, so this is one of the represses that are rare too. Um, and it's just a fantastic album. I mean, um, yeah, Yula Tango from Hoboken, New Jersey. Um, the next record is from a guy from Toronto in Canada. He uh, is a, uh, well, he used to be a solo artist. Um, released his first record in, I think, 2004? Yes. And this release came out on Plug Research, which is a uh, electronic music uh, label based in Los Angeles. And this was his first record. I'm talking about Milosh, You Make Me Feel. Uh, this was not available for a long time, where it was very hard to find, even on Discogs. Um, I ordered it directly um, from the label. It was one. Of, it was just sitting on the shelf for like eight or nine years, and I contacted them, and, and they said, "Oh, wait, we have a we have one copy left in our uh, archives." So I purchased it, and this is just a perfect album. It's it's um, it's kind of ambient with. Very, very smooth beats, piano sounds, and this adorable voice by Milosh. Mike Milosh is his name. Um, you might know him now from his uh, new project, which is very successful, though. Uh, Rai, Rai. They uh, released a, a record called Woman, I think, one or two years ago. So if you ever find this, I think this is available on Discogs now for reasonable prices, so... Um, all of his albums are very good, but this is by far the best one. Also last year I found a very, very important record for me. Um, I was I was growing up musically in the 90s. I started uh, to listen to music uh, at the beginning of the 90s. And... Um, this is one of my most important records when I talk about, or when it comes to the 90s, let's say this. I found an original copy last year. It was just sitting in my local store. I don't know why. Very reasonable price. And I'm talking about Neil Young's Mirror Ball. Um, I checked Discogs in the store. If it is really the original copy, I checked the Matrix runouts uh, and stuff. So it is definitely uh, the original, has the sticker. Um, there is a bootleg, I guess, or more than only one bootleg. Uh, but this is the original copy, which I'm really, really happy about. The sound is great. Uh, one of my favorite Neil Young albums. I own a lot of Neil Young albums, also a lot from the 90s, but this is by far my favorite, Mirrorball with Pearl Jam. <clears throat> Pearl Jam is not one of my favorite bands, though. Not at all. Okay, maybe this record is top three all-time records for me. Um, talking about Lamb Chop is a woman. And this also is not a, a, an original. This is the 2010 repress. Two, 2010 because it uh, marked the 20th anniversary of their European label, City Slang. And they put out um, a high number of, uh, of their releases from the past 20 years um, on represses. Not Holds lived through this though. They also released this one. Unbelievable. Why they didn't do it. Uh, and this is just wonderful. I mean, uh, Lamb Chop from Nashville. Um, this is so totally different to all their to all their other albums. I mean, I love all their albums. They did not make any bad record, but this is just amazing. Uh, long songs, very quiet, very fine instruments, 
Um, Kurt Wagner's voice is just beautiful. I saw them live a couple of times, and always when they play this stuff, um, it's just amazing. I mean, The Daily Grawl, uh, New Coat Web Summer, My Blue Wave, um, Is a Woman Bugs. I mean, only top notch songs. Um, also, do check out the uh, the recent live LP. It's I think it's called Live at Merch 20 or something. They're coming out of Merch in the U.S. Okay, um, now this is the only German record in my Grails, and it is really Grail because it's very hard to find. Um, you usually don't get it under 100 euro um, when you find it. It's always around 90 or 100 euro. I'm talking about Blumfeld, Testament der Angst, uh, one of my favorite German bands. Uh, they do not, they split up uh, in 2007. This record is from 2001, uh, and it's, it's the, the most hard to find. Um, nice gatefold with a Bob Dylan from the 80s, here. <laughs> Very nice. I love that record. So, the record that introduced me to kind of country music, uh, Americana, alternative country, whatever you want to call it, is definitely Ryan Adams' Heartbreaker. Um, I mean, I adore most of his work, um, but I think this one, I mean, this was the first one I heard of him, because, I mean, it's his debut after he left uh, Whiskey, Whiskey Town, I guess. Um, but this record uh, just means a lot to me. Um, perfect songs, My Winding Wheel, Oh My Sweet Carolina, um, Damn Sam, um, I mean everything. It's, it's just a great record. And I always wanted the Bloodshot pressing and I found it kind of cheap on eBay. Um, so this is the Bloodshot issue. I heard that the Cobra repress um, is not too good. They're also going for crazy money. I saw somebody who, who wanted 400 bucks for this on eBay. For the for the repress. Okay, so crazy. Ryan Adams. Oh, this is a good one. Also a solo artist. Two solo artists up next. Um, I love this album from the beginning, from its release in 96, I guess. Yes, 96. It is produced by Edwin Collins, which most of you know. Um, his uh, solo record is well known, I guess. I think I can't find it now. Here. Uh, Edwin Collins, he had um, a big hit called A Girl Like You. Edwin Collins. He produced this album, and it's by um, Robert Foster. Um, Robert Foster is a member, or was a member of the Go Betweens. Grant McLennan, Grant McLennan uh, passed away a couple years. So, this is my favorite album uh, by him. It's called Warm Nights. Uh, it is kind of hard to find in such a good condition. Um, near mint, also. Um, and the sound of this record is just brilliant. The production by Edwin Collins is perfect and it just gives you a very, very warm feeling. Um, and again, great tracks. A rock and roll friend, uh, I can do crying love, just perfect. Robert Foster from Australia, um, but I think he spent a lot of time in Germany. Um, but I think he. I don't know. I don't know where he's living now. Okay. And that brings me to the last record, and believe me, I'm not a flipper. Um, I listen to my records every day. I love my records. And this is really the only record sealed in my collection. James Laban also showed it, and I 
keep it sealed because I really don't want to play the record because I don't want it to be used. Uh, I don't know why. On the other hand, this is very limited and I got a special number of this limitation. And that's why I keep it sealed, but I guess when the perfect moment comes I will just crack the seal open, clean the record and then spin it. I'm talking about Sea Change by Beck. So Beck is, um, he's famous now. Uh, I mean, he was always famous, but he's famous now because he won the Grammy for Best uh, Album last year, <clears throat> Morning Phase. So I think it's just a question of time until all his records will be uh, available again with proper re-releases um, because there's some missing. Odelay is very hard to find. Uh, Mellow Gold also. Uh, by the way, I have a, I have a Mellow Gold copy for sale, an original. If you want, uh, if you want one. Um, uh, and um, so, Sea Change is, is unbelievably hard to get, and especially this one, the pink edition, the uh, MFSL. Uh, is very very hard to get and I have number 100 so I think this is a very special record it's one of my favorite records of all time um, and as I said the only one that is sealed so now that I'm finished I think I forgot one record James please forgive me I have to show one more record because it is very very important I have to uh, look for it wait a second Wait a second. Yeah, that's not a perfect situation here with the with the speakers. Um, but as I said, I, I'm moving in a couple of weeks um, downstairs, so um, I think that situation will be better, and I will do more videos then. Okay, the last record I'm showing, number 11, I'm sorry James, uh, number 12, um, it is Sunvolt's Trace. And that is from the hall I mentioned at the beginning, it was on the same day when I found Holds Live Through This, I also found R.E.M.'s Monster, um, Dinosaur Jr.'s uh, Without a Sound, um, that was a great day, that was a great day. Um, so, this is also maybe the second record that introduced me to alternative country music, alternative country rock, whatever you want to call it. Um, of course, Jay Farrar and um, Jeff Tweedy um, formerly... I uh, know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, this is the new band from Jay Farrar uh, after he left Uncle Tupelo and Jeff Tweedy formed Wilco, of course, I'm sorry. Um, so this is Jay Farrar's band. I think this one and the next uh, one which I forgot, Straightaways, I think, is a, is a title. They're pretty good. This is a perfect record. And this is also is very, very hard to find on, on vinyl. It's, it's near impossible to find this, uh, unless you pay like 200 euros or something. 150, maybe, I don't know. Um, but also, this was way, way cheaper than this price I just mentioned. Okay, I, I think um, I'm done now. I will not show more. I think the video is long enough. Uh, James, uh, thank you for making up this thread. Um, I hope you like my answer, response. Uh, I hope I'm, I'm able to do more videos in the future. Um, take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, unsubscribe, comment, um, whatever you would like to do. It's uh, perfect with me. So, best regards. Bye. See you.